Hi, my name is Gwen Robertson. I am an Advanced Public Health Coordinator in South Aberdeenshire and Aberdeenshire were asked to host the event, the Grandpa Self Management Network event today. Yeah, yeah. Done that in Embroody. Um, we've had quite an exciting morning. We've had a variety of speakers from um, the Alliance, from MS Society for Scotland, from the Care Inspector at the Roundabout Care about physical activity and from the Brumar Care Initiative. So I think we've kind of all gone away with various thoughts and plans in our head for what we might bring forward. Helen and um, I work within the Public Health Directorate and uh, I'm involved in implementing House of Care across Grampian. Uh, this morning I shared uh, an update of where we are with um, the rollout of House of Care across Grampian and um, shared um, snips around the um, evaluation of the six month review that has just been carried out with some positive um, feedback that we've received from some of the early adopter sites um, that have come on board with House of Care. I also explained um, that we are in the middle of cohort three uh, delivering training to various practices across Grampian and later on this year we will be launching um, interest for cohort four um, uh, for practices to um, sign up to deliver house of care uh, for the beginning part of next year. Colin Kelly uh, from the MS Society and the Self Management Lead, and I presented today on the MS Society's Living Well with MS program. Uh, this program I work as our self management program, and its aim is to increase the confidence, knowledge, and skills of people living with MS um, to manage their own health and their well-being. So to help them and support them to do that, um, we've recently launched um, virtual sessions with the support of Iris McDonald Charitable Trust, and I was here today to let people know about that and how people with MS can connect with others um, virtually and from the comfort of their own home. My name is Shona Oman Smith and I'm the Improvement uh, Manager working with the Care Inspectorate on the Care About Physical Activity Programme. We're working across Scotland to encourage older adults and the people that look after them to be moving about more often. So asking them to assess and look at the opportunities every day for them to be more active, getting off their seats and doing simple movements to increase their opportunities to be more independent, more active and live the life that they want to live. Hello, my name is Carol Patterson and this is Nick Mardo and we're both from Braemar Care which is a new innovative initiative which is going out in Braemar. I will hand you over now to Nick who will tell you more about it. Hi, um, just basically I made a presentation about the journey we've been on for since 2014, the issue raised in the action planning process in Bramar and um, the steps we've taken to come together as a small group, look at growing the group, appropriate structure, how do we meet the needs of, of care within a rural community and putting together a, a sort of task force and getting carers trained up and um, bringing in funds to support the programme and working in partnership with NHS, Aberdeen Council, the Health and Social Care Partnership, getting support from the different agencies, the Care Inspectorate, and a number of other rural communities across Scotland that um, are trying similar things and facing the same challenges that we do. Um, most notably, the Self Management Awards are open for nominations. They'll be open until the 26th of July. These are a great way to share um, self management activity that's happening and recognise work that's been done across Scotland. Um, nominations can be uh, downloaded from the Alliance website um, or we can send out paper copies and they take five minutes to complete. Um, you can nominate as many people as you want, um, to as many categories as you want. Uh, and this year we're excited to share two new award categories, the Dis Digital Innovator Award in partnership with Discover Digital, which looks to um, showcase uh, organisations or people that have used digital technology to support their wellbeing, um, and the Employability uh, Self-Management Award, which is in partnership with SUS. This one is open for individuals who've maybe been on an employment journey, uh, for employers who've maybe used a really innovative approach to supporting their staff self-management, um, or for an employment service that's helped will get back into work. 
The Self Management Awards uh, winners will be announced at our parliamentary reception uh, with Scottish Parliament on Tuesday, October. Um, and this ties in with our Self Management Week, which is going to run from the 7th to 11th of October. Um, we're still shaping up our kind of plan of events, but we're really hoping that as many people will get involved with the week as possible, whether you're able to host an event, uh, whether you can write a blog for our website or uh, share, the, share the week on uh, social media. Um, more information about the week can be downloaded from the Elect website as well as a Get Involved pack, which kind of has uh, kind of uh, hints and tips on uh, ideas and things on how to get involved, um, as well as uh, graphics and things to be shared on social media. Um, the Alliance have recently launched the Alliance Live platform, which is a new kind of online uh, webinar and discussion platform around the theme of health and social care integration. Uh, these are going to be conducted mostly via Zoom, so um, you just need a Wi-Fi connection and a device to, to take part, and sessions will roughly last around 30 minutes. Uh, our first one is being held today on the 26th of June and we're in Children and Young People um, and will be available to view on our YouTube channel as everything, uh, all these webinars will be recorded and then shared uh, afterwards so you can still catch up and you miss it on the day. Um, we're looking to gather uh, good practice examples of health and social care um, in action. Uh, we know that, that integration hasn't been fully realised yet and locality, what happens in one locality can be very different from what happens in another. So we're looking to gather um, those, those real life examples of good practice integration um, so that we can share those and kind of encourage, um, encourage this more, uh, to happen more widely. This year's Self Management Week is going to be held in partnership with Discover Digital. Um, Discover Digital, Digital is going to launch on the 11th of October, the kind of end of Self Management Week, and then there will be a series of events across Scotland throughout the rest of October. Discover Digital is an awareness raising initiative aimed at the general public around digital technologies to support health and wellbeing. Uh, we're looking at holding a series of events um, perhaps through the, the week the 14th to the 18th of October um, in Aberdeen. Um, this is still kind of very much in the conversation and planning stages um, with some NHS colleagues, uh, staff from RGU as well as uh, some third sector organisations. If you'd like to get involved with this, um, please do get in touch. We'd be delighted to, to have your involvement as part of that process as well. Um, and finally, uh, a short update around the Grampian Mental Health and Learning Disability Review. So the Alliance undertook a region-wide consultation process uh, to engage local people, communities and third sector organisations in informing the NHS Grampian Strategic Review of Mental Health and Learning Disability Services. We held six evening and afternoon engagement events um, across uh, five areas across Grampian uh, kind of the, during late uh, April, early May. Uh, these sessions were promoted through the third sector interfaces, through NHS Grampian and across the Alliance membership as well. Um, over 500 uh, third sector and voluntary organisations were contacted as part of this process and uh, over 124 people participated across those six engagement events. Um, so we have in excess of 650 responses, comments and statements uh, that were recorded as part of that process. The aim of these events were to capture those, those, uh, that, those experiences from people who have engaged with the, the mental health and learning disability services so that could be um, uh, informed inform that review process. A report um, from, from these engagement events is now available um, and can be accessed via the Alliance website or if anyone would like any paper copies sent out to them, um, please get in touch and we can send those along.